Hello, folks. Don Spencer, President of the Oklahoma Second Amendment Association. I uh, will give you a quick update on what has taken place on legislation this week. But one thing I do want to tell you right now is that the swamp is churning. It is overturning. Uh, something it is not comfortable with and likes to do. Maybe some of you have received a text today uh, that stated that uh, we need to call Senator Greg McCourtney because it literally said that uh, it says that he's conservative to his core. Oklahoma Family Values, that's State Senate Majority Leader Greg McCourtney. He has fought for our family values by being for low taxes and limited government. Nobody fights for Oklahoma like Greg McCourtney. Let me tell you something, folks. Um, if he's for lower taxes, why has he been killing Governor Stitt's efforts to make sure that this takes place? We just want a little bit back. Give us our grocery money back. Give us our income tax back. But no, McCourtney has been right dead center in the middle of this. And also, uh, this came from what I call dark money uh, for the fact that it came from a group called Paid For by OK United, a project of Catalyst Oklahoma. Any of you ever heard of that before? No. Is it in very small print? Oh, yeah. Anything you get from OK2A, we say right up front, this ain't no dark money. It's very clear where, where our stuff comes from. So this is, uh, this is what's transpired today. Now, why on earth would this wonderful group that you've never heard of send this message out to ask you to call Senator McCourtney's office and tell him he's doing a great job? Right. It's because uh, the swamp is, is circling around him, trying to protect him here. That's what they're trying to do. So what I'm going to ask you to do, and they want you to call him and tell him he's doing a great job. Now, keep you in mind, let's make sure it's clear. He's, he's doing a great job with that F rating he got from our friends at OKHPR, uh, uh, Family Values. He's also got a D rating from the Oklahoma Second Amendment Association. He had a 69% from Oklahoma Council for Public Affairs. That's a D, well, at least it was when I was in high school. And so this is what they're calling great family values and conservative to his core. It is absolutely false. It is absolutely false. And he's been caught on it, and he knows he's caught. And like I say, two days before this pro tem election in the state Senate, and all of a sudden you just get on your phone this text that, uh, hey, he's a great guy. You need to call him and tell him he's great because he's not hearing it enough. Well, the fact is he's not hearing enough because he's not. And you wonder what else has generated this. Well, okay, 2 has made some sound on it. But uh, a couple of days ago, in a half-page ad, a half-page ad, the Daily Oklahoman, it read, Senator Greg McCourtney is selling out your Second Amendment to Wall Street banks. Oklahomans can do better. Wow. Uh, this was published by, paid for by the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Well, you're thinking like, well, who, who, who's that? Well, Actually, even Senate leadership referred to these people as small potatoes. And so let me tell you how small potatoes these guys are. These guys are such small potatoes that they have a multi-million dollar shot show that our, even our governor and legislators attend, many of them attend, this year, every year in Las Vegas, where firearm manufacturing and, and uh, commerce come together to, to work and, and talk and to deal with things. That's how small potatoes this is. You're like, well, why on earth would this out-of-state group come in and place this ad? Well, here's why. House Bill 2218 last year uh, in Senator Garvin's bill was voted down by Senator Garvin uh, and uh, I'm sure uh, at the approval of uh, Greg McCourtney, who's been fairly not exactly our Second Amendment su leading supporter uh, uh, over there. So while the lobbyist is sitting there watching this bill get voted down, down, uh, this is the uh, outcome of what takes place when you screw, flip off a leading industry of national group about firearms. This is what happens. 
We've been telling you in Oklahoma, this is the swamp. Now an outside group has come in. In fact, they've come in. They also, along with this ad to the, daily, uh, to the Oklahoman, they also put up a digital moving billboard outside of the state capitol for everyone to see with the same information. They also today printed today the Ada newspaper. The Ada News has the same ad in it that says, Greg McCourtney is selling out your Second Amendment to Wall Street banks. Oklahomans can do better. That's been placed in his own backyard. So let's make it real clear also uh, for you legislators, which would be like Senator Paxton, who screwed them the year before doing this by saying he's going to hear the bill and then didn't and killed it, which, by the way, this bill's passed, I think, 14 states. Oklahoma's the only state to vote it down. So, so much for red Oklahoma, and here's why. Here's why. It's the swamp. I've been telling you it's a swamp, and here's what the swamp has been doing. Now an outside group is telling you, here's what the swamp's doing. So let's fix this swamp. Let's fix this little swamp issue right here. You've been asked to call Senator Greg McCourtney. I agree. Let's call him. Let's call, I want everyone to call Senator Greg McCourtney at 405-521-5541. Five two five. I'm sorry. Five two one five five four one, and ask Senator Greg McCourtney to vote for Senator David Bullard for pro tem designate. If you can't call, if you do call, if it gets if it's jammed up, which can happen, I want you to email Greg McCourtney at OKSenate.gov. Uh, we'll make sure that you can see uh, down below that that uh, email address is in there, and hopefully you can just click on it and go right straight to it. But in the, just put in the subject line, McCourtney, vote for David Bullard. That's what he needs to hear because he needs to see what an actual conservative is, ones that stays away from these dark money groups that we've seen here because these dark money groups have gone after Governor Stitt, after Ryan Walters, after excellent, excellent legislators, and they're going to this next uh, election cycle. But let's stop it now. Let's stop what we can now and make sure you call Senator Greg McCourtney's office and politely state, Senator McCourtney, please vote for David Bullard. That's all you need to say. That's all you need to type in the email. That's all you need to type in the subject line. That's all you need to do. And hit the send button. So if you want also, I'm changing the subject a little bit, if you want to continue to see your Second Amendment rights, your all of your rights defended at the state level, get your tax money back because it's your money, you should be able to decide with do it, not the state. You want to get this back? Click and like this video. Also join OK2A at OK2A.org because we are the ones that's keeping an eye on this. And a fact, real quick, I'll tell you a real quick update. Two bills passed this week. Uh, Senate Bill 209. Uh, this is so carry can take place in uh, public trust hospitals. Uh, thank you, Senator Howard. This is a very good bill. Also, uh, Senate Bill 1476, they struck title on it. This is an effort. So uh, there is a tax credit to get for uh, the purchase of safes, uh, gun safes for in your home and other types of things related to that. Again, this is Don Spencer, president of the Oklahoma Second Amendment Associ Association. Make those calls now. Send those emails now and don't let off because the swamp is churning over. Thank you.